Okay, this is going to be just a quick review of what we've learned about the different types of quadrilaterals. So, all it's wanting us to do is to name these based on the information we know. Now, here's where you're going to have to look at the characteristics. So, right here, we know opposite sides are congruent. So, that makes it a parallelogram. But then we also know it has four right angles. So, it says list all the possible names. So this would be a parallelogram. It would also be a rectangle. Okay, you could also put it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. And it's also a polygon. Now, I don't think they're probably going to ask you to name a polygon, but you could also put that. Okay, let's take number two. All we know here are opposite sides are parallel. So in this particular case, this is just a quadrilateral. I'm going to abbreviate here. And a parallelogram. So I'm using the symbol for parallel. Okay, the next one, if you look at the next one, it's just like number two. So again quadrilateral and parallelogram. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what about number four? Okay, number four, all the sides are equal. And we have four right angles. Okay, so that makes that a square. But remember, a square is everything. So it's a quadrilateral. It's a parallelogram. It's a rectangle because it has four right angles. It's also a rhombus because all the sides are equal. And then it's a square. So you got to list everything that applies. So that's where this gets a little bit tricky sometimes. All right, let's keep going. All right, what about number five? Uh, number five, because... These two angles equal 180. These two angles equal 180. That means these two sides are parallel. So that is a quadrilateral because it has four sides, but it's also a trapezoid. But it's not isosceles because these two sides are not equal. Okay, what about number six? Opposite sides are congruent. Okay, so we have quadrilateral, parallelogram, because opposite sides are congruent. All right, anything else? Well, not all the sides are equal, so it's not a rhombus. Uh, not, the angles are not right angles, so it's not a rectangle. So there's nothing else we can say about that outside of quadrilateral and parallelogram. Okay, what about the next one? Okay, here, we notice these equal 180, these equal 180, but what else did we notice? The angles are equal, as well as the sides. So now we're like number five. Here we're going to write, it's a quadrilateral, but here we're going to put, it's an isosceles trapezoid. All right, the last one. All right, so opposite sides are congruent, but what do you notice about all the sides? They're all equal. So since they're all equal, again, it's a quadrilateral. It's a parallelogram. But because they're all equal, it is a rhombus. Now, why is it not a square? Because, remember, these angles are not 90 degrees. Therefore, it's not a square. Okay? So being able to identify the quadrilaterals and what type they are based on their characteristics.